Hello everyone, uh, let's talk about step one USMLE resources. Okay, so now I'm going to divide them into three parts video resource, QBanks, and then finally you have notes. Now let's first talk about QBank because that's the most important thing. So for QBanks, you have, I would say, three famous QBanks, right? One is UWorld, the second one is Amboss, and the third one is USMLE RX. Now let's compare these three QBanks UWorld, Amboss, and USMLE RX. So first one is price. If you look at the yearly price for UWorld, it's $559. Emboss is $299 and USMLE RX is $139. Now you can clearly see UWorld is the most expensive one and it kind of it's more than three times what USMLE RX is offering you. So price is something which I would say UWorld has a downside and a monopoly too and it's very expensive. Let's look at the strengths. So UWorld has its own strength in its uh, explanation as well as illustrations and figures. The explanations are very apt. They are very good explanation. I would say whatever medical knowledge I had, which I was able to reinforce thanks to UWorld, the explanations are at par, very good. Emboss, I would say they have good explanation, but they go into finer details, nitty gritty. Sometimes they may not be exam relevant, but still I would say they are finer explanation. They have like different question styles from one hammer to five hammer, one hammer being very easy and five hammer is very hard question. And uh, the unique thing about Emboss is like they have their own Emboss library and that is now linked with NEJM Knowledge Plus. So that's something very good. Emboss actually bought out NEJM Knowledge Plus. Uh, so that's uh, something good and I would say multimedia section of the emboss is also good like for example if you want to auscultate hard sounds you can actually click the areas where you want to auscultate which is kind of a you know real simulation to real deal. Then let's talk about USMLE RX the strengths of USMLE RX I would say USMLE RX is good for starters because it follows the first aid patterns you have there you know USMLE flashcards, I would say USMLE RX flashcards, which are made from the first state itself. They have their QBank and of course you have your USMLE RX videos. So everything is kind of linked to a first state. So that's about the USMLE RX. How will you see analytics? Let's say when you give certain test or when you solve certain question, it will every every question bank will show you analytics, right? Most of the analytics of all the QBanks are same. But I like one thing about Amboss is like after you solve certain question, it will give you study recommendation that, hey, you are kind of, you know, you still need to improve on certain areas. So it will give you study recommendation based on, you know, those areas. So that's kind of cool. Let's talk about features. So you would, I would say the feature, not many features like other Q banks, but recently they have rolled out, you know, like you have your making flashcard free features as well as you know you can make your own notebook segregate the nodes that's you know uh, something about the u world if you look at emboss i really like emboss because of you know following features number one if you are lo looking at the library if you are studying library you can actually click high yield button so it will show you just high yield information for your exam pertinent okay if you remove that you can see the entire section of the library and you have also study plans if you get emboss let's say you can specifically choose study plan for step one step two step three internal medicine board exams so study plans is also something very cool and while solving questions you can have attending tip like if you're not able to judge the answer or if you're not able to come to an answer you can look at additional tip and then finally you can you know choose one option that's kind of very helpful if you are not able to solve the question and they would have key information so a lot of really cool feature i think emboss has and it's now kind of up and coming q bank in the future about usmle rx features i would say everything is linked to first aid since first aid is your to go resource First aid is the Bible for USMLE step one, right? So everything is linked to first aid, your flashcards, videos, and notes. So I really liked the linking of everything because you are studying first aid by itself. Similarity to real deal, that's the next thing. I would say gold standard QBank is, of course, UWorld so far. The downside of it, I would say sometimes the questions are slightly longer than real deal, but 
a positive side to that is it is it is preparing you for your time management okay so questions are slightly longer than real deal or nbme but it's it's going to prepare you for real exam because that's how you'll be able to read questions swiftly and come to an answer swiftly amboss i would say similarity to real deal somewhat but sometimes it kind of focus on nitty gritty details so it's good for revision that's i would say you know that's what i would say about emboss and usmle rx i would say it's great for starters so if you ask me summary how would you go about this if i had a chance how would i have you know started again i would say i would have started again with usmle rx as first qbank then u world followed by emboss because usmle rx is good for starters right you get to know what's actually written in first aid and then you can do revision with flashcards then you can do some you know concept building in u world and finally do some reinforcement and revision in emboss so rx u world and emboss is the sequence i would choose but emboss is something i would really say to use that as a second q bank not just first q bank just because it focuses on you know very finer details before solving emboss i would really say to build upon your concepts so those were the q bank resource next i'll talk about video resources so video resource top 3 i would say you know let's compare bnb pathoma and usmle strike videos let's talk about bnb i would say you know they are clear very concise to the point you'll be given you know, slides powerpoint slides of whatever he teaches and then of course are relevant q banks so i would say all good things about ports and beyond you know very good for concept building sometimes it may not be exam oriented because it's very good for concept and sometimes just watching powerpoint slides may be monotonous but otherwise all good things about ports and beyond pathoma i would say regardless of your stage of preparation you have to watch chapter 1 to 3 it is great for medical students and aspirants for usmle and those who are near the exam it really breaks down the complex you know concepts into fundamentals so really good for understanding pathology so chapter 1 for everyone rest are optional if you are using other resources then i would say usmle strike and of course you have to experience first before you can you know see exactly what usmle strike offers but i would say it it will give you first aid based video a link to you know how npm would test you link to how u world can test you so it's i would say all in one interactive package and i'm sure you won't be bored at all so i would highly recommend you to check free videos in the usmle strike app and you can also get more information through my website or you can also text me in instagram if you want to know more so i would highly highly recommend you to check if you want just everything at one place just scattered to you ready to serve you and then finally i'll talk about notes first aid are the gold standard and i have a different video on how to decode first aid and how to enode first aid so feel free to explore my youtube channel to you know get more information about how exactly you should study first aid so those were the you know usmle resource for step 1 i talked about video q bank and notes that was kind of very swift information if you have more questions please feel free to text me on instagram my instagram handle is dr apurva underscore popat you can also mention your questions in the in the comments i'll be happy to answer all of those and if this video was helpful to you please like share and subscribe that would be very great this will help me to make more future videos thank you so much